All right, so this is probably not going to be a good experience. Just look at this thing. Does that look like something that's not hot? Okay, because it don't look like it's not hot to me. This looks like a hot one. Now, I don't know what this is, guys. This is not a Jamaican bonnet, a Scotch bonnet, Jamaican red. No, it's not Scotch bonnet, Jamaican red. Trust me. This may be a devil's tongue. That's what it looks like. I don't know for sure, but I would figure I was going to give you a bite anyway to just kind of give you a, an idea of what this thing might be and what am I potentially up against here. So if any of you pepper affinacciados, or what do you call them, pepper enthusiasts, what this might be, uh, leave a comment below. I'd be curious to hear some people's thoughts. I'll give you a closer image of it. All right. This is about the size of it. You can see it against my hand. All right. And uh, hold you up. I think it's a devil's tongue. I don't like biting devil's tongues. I'm going to do it. It's too hot. It's going out. Seed. Seeds. Not bad. You know, after eating that Reaper, going through that experience, that was like, that Reaper was like an ayahuasca experience almost. Um, after eating that, everything I eat after that, is, I don't even, it's not even hot to me. This thing could be burning me. I wouldn't even know it almost. What gets me is the sneezing. That gets me. Not really hot. I don't know how hot the devil's tongue is supposed to be, but it ain't really that hot. I'd probably say, so far, it's stinging the tongue a little. I did eat a pepper not that long ago, so a little unfair for the heat guys, uh, heat guys and girls that want to know heat. As you probably know, and some of my viewers that don't know, as you eat peppers and you burn off your tongue, you really got to wait a little while before you start judging the heat of another pepper because your tongue is just, it acclimates to it, believe it or not, a little bit. It's hot. It is warming up. It's attacking the end of the tongue nice and evenly, but not too much further back than maybe an inch or so onto the tongue from the tip back. It's really the tip. Nothing on the lips, just the tongue. Nothing else in the mouth. Just the tongue. Just the very tip of the tongue. I'm going to take another bite. It could get hotter. It's got that thing that makes you sneeze. Taste-wise, a little bit fruity. It almost tastes like um, habanero a little bit. It has that fruity habanero kind of a taste. Very slightly though. I don't want to drool on camera. I have to cut it out. It's more editing. Heat kind of comes and goes really quick. But it does build on your tongue. The tip of your tongue area. Now that might be why they call it devil's tongue. Because it really attacks the tongue pretty good. The very tip of my tongue is really starting to heat up. Starting to heat up. It builds slowly. Tastes, like I said, it's kind of habanero taste. It does kind of make you want to sneeze a little. If you're one of those kind of people that sneeze easy, easy, what else can I say about it? It's thin wall pepper. This would make a nice pickling pepper, or this would be really good for drying out for you folks that want to make powders. Uh, this would probably be a good one. Don't use your blender like people have been showing you. Oh, I throw it in a coffee grinder and I blend it up. Don't use your blender. You're going to be sorry. Everybody around you will be sorry you do that. Just grind it in a, in a pepper grinder. Pour it mortar and pestle. Use a mortar and pestle. You start using those powder grinders. I did that once. I got flat. I opened the thing. I even waited like a minute. I opened the lid up and I got, oof. I was sneezing. My eyes were burning and everything. I won't do that no more. Okay, it's going back to the back of the throat a little bit. Nice and evenly. It's hitting the tonsils, basically. Not hard. Heat-wise, I'm going to put this one, and I'm only up to here. I'm going to put this one at, uh, right now. I should take this other bite. I'm not going to eat that. I hate eating seeds. You know me about seeds. It doesn't affect the stomach too much, but heat-wise, now that I ate it and I let it build the whole thing up towards the top, I'm going to say up towards the top where the seeds are, I'm definitely going to say that it was uh, it pushed that number up a little bit. Right near that stem part, it was a little hotter. I was originally going to say like around 1,000. You're around 2,000 with this somewhere around there it's a nice heat i think it's a devil's tongue I'm, I'm almost sure of it i got some devil's tongues growing now and they should be putting out fruit pretty soon when they do i'll be able to compare the two and i'll be able to identify it even though there's a lot of yeah the, the heat's building it's still coming heat's still coming it's all the end of your tongue and the sides of the tongue and then going back into the throat a little bit mostly the tongue it's all your this heat is all tongue but it's not bad 
not bad at all. I'm not sweating. I'm not tearing. I'm not, you don't you see me crying on here. So, but it's, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. This is one that you could probably do no problem in the field. I was borderline on a kind of a gut cramp, getting a little bit of a, you know, like an uncomfortable feeling. It was borderline on that one. I felt it kind of coming on a little bit. And my stomach kind of, even now, is like kind of like, eh, a little, little bit, I feel like I'm not ready to do another hot pepper review because of that. I have to wait a while. Anyway, that was most likely the devil tongue, and that was my review for the mystery devil tongue pepper. So if anybody knows for sure what that pepper is, post your comment. Tell me what you think it is. Thumbs up. Peace.